Hit him off the court with the toe ball. <laughs> you did. You did hit the game winning goal. Yeah, I sure yeah. did. <laughs> I hit him with the Pinocchio. That's what he said. <laughs> the Pinocchio is crazy. Hit him with the Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, that's so. good. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to the 110 Punch Podcast with your host, Uncle Ryan, and I got my nephew here. Ben Ray. And just so y'all know, we were recording two episodes in a day, so I got on the same fit. I took my sweatshirt off. Yeah, he took off his uh, his Dusty I, Lowe's free sweatshirt. So, no, 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 the Dusty, that was the, the basketball sweatshirt. Oh, okay, that's, it's, now I got the it was clean. It's probably, oh, that, yeah, now it's Dusty, the Lowe's free sweatshirt. Sure. Y'all, y'all can go get the drip. Go get lostbreed.com. Oh, yeah, don't the get Lost that. Breed we're, not, we're not plugging on. Well, we got fire. some. We got some two goats in the building. We got the champs. The champs. The champs are Who in the, the building. You see, we got the trophy here. We got two champs coming onto the show, so we're gonna bring them on right now. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. So our two guests here today, we got. Let's see the first one. So I want to go in order of what I wrote down. Now, I don't want to say it wrong. I don't want to say it wrong. Is it Jean or Jean? Jean. Jean. Yeah. That's all wrong. That's right. <laughs> Jean Baptiste Cogde. Who is the center back for the team? Champ. And I mean, it's this past season, third team all conference. Champ. Yeah. And champ. Champ. And <laughs> champ. Then we also got we got Jack Jack Leahy here. Champ. Who is current co uh, co defensive player of the year? First team all conference. And I would, last year was a se- it was second team all conference. Try to tell him now. We come with some heavy hitters. We got the champs in the building. We got some goats on the couch right now. <laughs> come on, That's man. what it is. The goats. The goats. So AMCC championship. Mm-hmm. We talk about how this past season, how you guys prepared, what it was like to win the championship and and then make it to the NCAA tournament. Uh, it was. I mean, it was. It was a crazy experience. Started with me and John both came in as freshmen, uh, and we had never even been to the playoffs, so we just had to work with what we had and. Um, we went in and started just winning games like previous years they were winning one game a year so our whole goal is to come in and turn the program around and uh, we ended up making it to the playoffs so like there was a bunch of excitement around it um made it to the semifinals and we lost to what Madaya was yeah it was Madaya. yeah so um and then just as each year went on we got better and better and then this year was just whole different year like we went up against AU uh, man down in the second half and still come out with a win uh, made it to the semis and then we beat Penn State Baron for the first time ever so we were just breaking records yeah. all around mm-hmm. and then we made it to the finals and uh, won in PK so just everything about it was just a crazy experience I would say that AU game was dope yeah, no, yeah. AU yeah. game we was loud and yeah. so <laughs> it was the biggest fan base I've ever right. seen yeah. 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 it'd be lit too. when they score a goal and they start flicking the lights yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's light a show. thing this year yeah, yeah that was yeah. fire that was fire for sure but mm-hmm. overall I feel like this year was probably one of the best years that we had like with the new recruits coming in you know new additions they all come in for a reason yeah. and they all put in that work just as we much like the seniors um, juniors mm-hmm. all put in the work um I mean, I feel like it's all up to the coaches. Like, they did a great job getting us ready for the season. Preseason was, like, a battle, basically. Like, it was a hot day. We go in and get some works and go get some works done and all that. And it was great. But I just say everything go up to the coaches. Like, yeah. they get all the excitements because this is great. Breaking records yeah. is awesome. I mean, talking about the coaches, he was he was coach of the year this past year. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another coach of the year in, he in deserved the building. That. He deserved yeah, that. He did deserve that. He <laughs> took the program from just nothing to this. So. Yeah. 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 Talk about him. Like, what does he what does he do on a daily basis? Talk about like his energy, what he gives you guys. Um, Coach Gibbs is hype. Like during practices, sometimes he would join in on our practices. Like, join in. Sometimes he, like he don't play the whole time, but like you know, just if we need a player filled in. Some of the coaches were filled in and play. Um, he would set out plans like what practice, what he, what yeah. drills he wants to run, defensive drills, offensive drills, uh, midfielders moving the ball. Um, overall, I feel like he did a great job as a coach. Like, there's not yeah. another coach that I would have wanted to coach me this year in college. Basically, you say he plays with. How's his touch? What's his touch like? Is it good? He still got it. He still, he got, still it. got it. He still, he still got, got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> the goalie punts the ball out. He can bring it down. Yeah, coach. Nah, coach I can still tell got he's it. Played, yeah. played in the day. <laughs> all right. All right. 
So give, give me your, your, your top three moments from the past season. Um, uh, I'd say the number one moment was just like being in the finals and realizing like we were about to go into PKs. Like it was like everything we've been wanting to do mm-hmm. was right on the line. It's like 50 50. If you win PKs or you don't. Um, that was like the most like shocking moment for me. It was like it's right around the corner, like winning the championship. And then the AU game, without a doubt, um, just going down a player in the first minute of the second half mm-hmm. was just like. And then my third one. I said Baron. Yeah, all Baron Simmons. Baron, yeah, Baron, Baron, Baron Simmons. Yeah. That was the Jack, game. Jack has scored both goals in the Baron semifinals, which was a very great game. Down yeah. with players, too. Like, it was great. What was the, the the finals? Was It was a PK shootout, right? Yeah. 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 What was What was that like? Was that like how tense was that? I, I think the semis might have been more more intense. Yeah. The, the semis was just insane. <laughs> it was. But, yeah. The, I mean, the final was still intense. Like our last final uh, PK taker was the freshman, oh, really? and oh, he did like a, something crazy Called in the panenka. final. He did a panenka on the goalkeeper, something that's like, I mean, now it's do- being done more, but it's flash. it used to be yeah. rare, and some top players do it, and he did it to score in the final, which was crazy. I was like, yeah. wait, what is it? So I know, I know a bunch of PKs, but what, what is the, what is the, the panenka? panenka? So it's basically you chip in the ball, and it's like, it go in a slower pace than yeah. usually normally taking a shot. So like, it's risky because if the keeper don't move, then you just he chipped it straight down the middle. Yes. Look, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you just straight down the middle. That's <laughs> risky. That is crazy. Because the goalies aren't going to expect a freshman yeah. on the last yeah. kick to win, the, win it all to do a panenka. So yeah. it was, it was just like. Almost the perfect yeah. choice. You know it's forever I mean? goaded. Like, yeah. Forever <laughs> goaded for something like that. Alex Romero. Yeah. So y'all practice like different like PKs. Like you have like different like. Um. Different so we only yeah. did it. I'm pretty sure we only did it like once this year yeah. during the season. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, only practice. We only practice PKs once, and he did it during practice. Yeah. And then he was talking about doing it during the game if we get to it. Yeah. And nobody like believed him, but then he actually did it in the finals. Mm-hmm. So it was crazy. Did coach pick him to do it? Like how does that work? Like you got to pick somebody to shoot it. So or you, you pick your top five first to like pick the PKs, mm-hmm. and then you get like. I think it was like up to ten players after that, just in case the PK dragged down. Yeah, yeah. we were all like huddled up after both overtimes in the finals, and um, he was like, "I right, like it's here." Like we had been practicing like a couple practices before, and uh, he was like, "Who wants to take a PK?" It's yeah. like obviously a lot of pressure, so yeah. whoever was like willing to take one raised their hand, and then we just we took what we had, and um, we made an order, and we just went out there, and um, I think we made four out of five, and they missed two of them. So yeah. Mm. That's, 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 how, that's having trust in your teammates for real, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we missed the first one, the rest we scored, so it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like, <laughs> that's kind of like how we do in practice, like, uh, we'll do like a, a free throw drill or something like that, or like a three-point drill. Yeah. And you'd be like, if, who do y'all pick to shoot these shots? And if they you make, win, yeah, you like, if they make this, if they go four out of five, or they shoot over 80%, then practice is over, no running, no sprints. Like, oh, wow. Like that, yeah. <laughs> now that we do the one-on-ones, and if, if you don't make them, we gotta run. Yeah, we gotta run. Oh, so one wow. time we chose, we chose Ben, and uh, no, I make, make it, it every time. I literally make it every single time. Don't hate. I make it every single time. I can take it. When coach wants to end practice, he chooses me. That's what it is. That's the how one time I know. we had to run. <laughs> we never, oh, yeah. for that? Yeah, then he said double or nothing. I said, uh, yeah, no. We did a three-point <laughs> We did a three point shooting drill. I didn't get it in the time. We had to do a, you know what a, a 17 is? No. It's just running. So sideline to sideline. You got to go. Oh. W- that's like one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. And then he he doubled it, so we had to do a 34. Ooh. Because we said Delbert enough, and I, and I missed. I'm going to be honest. You know, <laughs> they should have chose me. I they should have not chose you <laughs> at all. Soccer, soccer. It's a lot of conditioning in soccer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're constantly running back and forth. The ball will be flying everywhere. Like, So what's some of the, like, the hardest conditioning drills you have done during practice? Um. Okay, so we did the beep test, which is basically um, 20 yard, only 22 yards, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 22 yards. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then there's like different levels to it, starting at level one all the way up. And then it's basically you had to get there before the beep. And then you just, just keep going until you you dropped off. Basically. I remember doing that in like gym class. What's the yeah, minimum? Kind of like yeah, yeah, test. Yes. 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 What was the minimum you had to get? Um, I think for everybody coming in, everybody expects to be at least a, a level 10. Yeah. So how, how many, many is, is that? Yeah, how many is that? It's like 100. Um, I think that's 100, right? Somewhere. I don't, I can't. Did like you guys even keep yeah. track, or you just went with you like just, you just go, yeah, yeah, you just gotta okay. lock in and gotcha. just do it. But like, if you don't, I mean, you have the whole summer to train. So if you're not getting above ten, you're yeah. just not fit. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I used to do that in high school. Like, most I ever got was like sixty something. 
So I'd be yeah, like, yeah. so I'd be like, bro, I don't even feel like running no more. Like, <laughs> yeah, you get the stars yeah. You get the tryhards, yeah. cross country <laughs> guys. They'll go up to a 150. I'm like, yeah. they're going jump hard. I'm trying to play open gym. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get the open gym and they keep yeah. going. Yeah. And they go to math class, smelling terrible, yeah, yeah, sweating <laughs> like crazy. High school like is crazy. High school gym <laughs> class is dead crazy. <laughs> you have to do a uh, like the miles before uh, the season. Like it was like two miles and like. We did it during the season. During yeah. the season? Yeah. So it was like the two mile. Basically, he just keep track of your time. Yeah. See how, how you know how much, how much you can run in two miles. Basically, some people do it like t- 12 minutes, uh, 13, 14. Uh, is 12 like the, is that the s- max? Or? No. They're expecting so like 13. Yeah. 13? Oh yeah. Gosh. It was like 12 minutes. It's like two six nine miles. That's pretty quick for a two yeah. mile. But then again, like if you get 12, like you're in shape. Like you're ready for a marathon. Yeah. So. Yeah. And there's one guy in our team that got like close to a 10 minutes for two mile, Josh Price, which was crazy. 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes, yeah. He's a runner, so. Wait, like, j- like just over 10? Uh, yeah, he barely got over 10, which that's, is crazy. That's kind of crazy. You've been I'm hating. Not lie, that's crazy. Yeah, you're right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. The, the fastest <laughs> one mile I've gotten is 5.30. Like, I'm not. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, two mile, you'll probably be around like 11. I did the two 12. mile before. I, I finished it. Uh, what would, you, what would be I the time? Like 11 it was like 12? it was like eleven fifty seven. Like it was. If you're getting like five twelve. Miles, I'm gonna cry on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No. but uh, how'd y'all how'd y'all get into soccer? Like, what age did y'all start playing? Who introduced you to the sport? Like that. I, uh, my my dad introduced me to soccer. I just um, I just ever every time we'd go out to play in the yard or whatever, it'd always be a soccer ball, and uh, I just started playing young, maybe five or six. Mm. I would join like the local. Uh, club teams and stuff it was Pittsburgh Mustangs and I'd play with all my boys at school and stuff and from there on I just took it more seriously and joined like better clubs and then played varsity and now I'm where I'm at right now so that's how I got into it um mine's I, th- I think that's since I remember I started playing soccer mm-hmm. basically um my older brother played soccer my dad played soccer and I mostly grew up around it mm-hmm. so as a like a little kid watching his older brother play, my goal was to get better than my older brother. Gotcha. So, ever since then, I just kept playing. You know, I played uh, street soccer, which is basically just freestyle soccer. Mm-hmm. Played for a little bit, um, didn't like it, and then my dad put me in like a team, which was good. Trained with them for a while, played like a couple games, and that's it. I just keep getting to a better yeah. team, better team. That's it. Been smooth sailing since then. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever play Premier? Or Premier, we got to pay like three thousand dollars to play on a team. Some similar to that, yeah. I was doing clubs like, um, <coughs> kind of over the winters and summers. It would you have to pay a ton because like yeah. the uniforms, the traveling, all yeah, that. Yeah. So yeah, it was around that era. I'd do the club teams like Rochester Lancers. That was one of them. Oh yeah, Lancers. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. Heard of that. yeah, I got I got a couple of friends who played yeah, Lancers. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Yeah. You but played soccer back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. He was nice. <laughs> back in the day, I played all the way up. I played up to my senior year. Played all no, the way. You, up. Why'd you choose basketball? Basketball? Yeah. It's just that basketball, is, I just, I think it's more fun. Honestly, I've thought about trying out for the soccer team myself. Yeah. <laughs> but, like. Nah, first. He'd be like, yeah, I should have played this. In practice, like, I, like, I should just, before, when I we warm it up for out. practice, I'd be stretched. I'd be just kicking the ball, the basketball. I'd be <laughs> kicking it. I'd be doing moves on it. <laughs> the, but soccer is fun. Yeah. I mean, soccer, soccer is fun. I love soccer. I yeah. could have played any other sport. It would have been basketball. So. Basketball? Yeah. Oh, I played soccer back in my day. I want to play you guys in soccer, actually. Yeah. We should. The basketball team versus basketball soccer team. Yeah, yeah we, we should. Then we and play basketball. Yeah, yeah. basketball. Because <laughs> we, we, we only got, like, three or four guys who played soccer. But bro's here. He's, a, yeah. if I touch the he's ball, an excellent forward. If I touch the ball, I'm shooting it. Yeah, I'm sure. like if he the ball told touches my foot, I'm sure I don't care how far <laughs> I am. I don't care if somebody else is open. If it touches my foot, I'm getting it up. It's one of the meanest toe balls you'll ever see. <laughs> I don't even know what that it means. It's so I crazy. I don't even know what that means. You but kick it with your toe. No, uh, what am I supposed to kick with? The inside of my foot. Inside, yeah. Uh, you pass it inside. You shoot. Shoot. Usually like your lace. You know? He don't. He don't uh, pass though. So. Yeah, I don't shoot pass. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> he refuses. I just shoot it. Quality. Sometimes I'll be way off. Sometimes you know, <laughs> shoot a shoot. So. Yeah. We were supposed to play you guys last year, but uh. Really. Yeah, your coach got scared. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm blaming him. I'm gonna blame him. He got scared. <laughs> I told him I'm like I'm like set it up. He's like yeah yeah let's do it let's do it. And then he never got to it. Uh, never once got. To we it. played that one time in intramurals though. Like one time we were trying to play basketball and. But we, we didn't play against soccer. Yeah, it, wasn't soccer. it was just against some randoms. Some uh, randoms. We were, like trying to play basketball in the gym and they had like intramural soccer. It was oh like, yeah. And we was like yeah. we beat you on soccer. We're gonna play basketball. 
Did y'all play him? Yeah, I, I hit the game when it go. Oh, wow. <laughs> game when it go, I was like, yeah, get out of here. We're playing basketball. <laughs> I was like, oh, and no one reason to laugh because it was their time was up. That's not uh, they didn't leave because we. That's were, what we happened did. then. Yeah, their time was up. I Understand. kicked them off the court. No, you didn't. Kicked them off the court with no, the toe you ball. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did hit the game winning goal. Yeah, I sure yeah. did. <laughs> I hit him with the Pinocchio. That's what he said. <laughs> the Pinocchio is crazy. Man. Pinocchio. Yeah, that's good uh, winning. So why did you guys choose Alfred State? And what was like the recruiting process like? Um, well, to be honest, I actually didn't know Alfred State actually existed when you know, when I was in high school. I, I was too. being recruited by like Buffalo State, um, Nash, um, Fisher. But Chris Gabe came down to one of my practices, you know, my club practices, and then he talked to me about Alfred State, his vision for the team, what he's trying to, you know, gain in the future and all that. I came down for a visit. I met the seniors. They were, like, friendly. You know, I just fit mm-hmm. right in. And then I just decided I want to come here. And then I came here freshman year. I met all the guys during the first first day of practice and all that. It was felt like a family. Was that, was that uh, Coach Gabe's first? It was his first year, right? Uh, was Coach Gabe's, like, the third year. Yeah, so it's probably like second, third. I'm gonna say. I I think COVID year might have been his first, but okay. We we you guys got here in, in 21, right? Yeah, yeah. 21, yeah. 22. So we got here like the year after the COVID and stuff. So I feel like I got here COVID. I should know. But <laughs> I, I <laughs> we were still wearing. Were we still wearing masks? I think that first fall we were in masks. Um, Not during soccer, but like class. Did you yeah, get did classes? Yeah. Did yeah. you get a high school soccer season that year? Uh, I yeah I had to I had to wear a mask during my games my senior year <laughs> while you were playing or yes, just on the side yeah. well I think we were allowed to wear them around our chin but um, and we were only allowed to have like limited amount of fans and stuff so uh, my senior year was pretty restricted like we after se- we won sectionals we couldn't even go any further so oh that's um, crazy it sucks yeah. oh that's wild yeah, we couldn't even go out states yeah so oh, that is wild I would be tight I yeah would nah, be definitely yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. no but so I want to bring in. Everybody talks about the goats, the soccer goats. <laughs> who, who are the goats? I mean, you got you got the obvious ones. You got Messi and Ronaldo, and then you got like, oh man, I'm gonna mess these names up. I haven't written down. Okay, I'm gonna mess them up. You got Pe- Pele, Maradona, mm-hmm. Ronaldinho, those type of dudes. I know it's like Messi and Ronaldo, are probably the top two. But who's your goat? Messi. Yeah, mine's Messi as well. Messi? It's just like it's just something you can't really. Yeah. argue about like you, it's just the way he plays is like it's so like it's like free flow you know what I mean like yeah. everything is so uh, just instinct that's why he's the best you know mm-hmm. so. I would say n- now it's kind of irrefutable but then he went to the MLS so yeah. I don't know right, right, right. <laughs> but I guess it's a good way to like retire like go to the MLS yeah I mean he did, he did get a bag from them yeah I mean yeah, he won yeah. he won almost everything he could want in soccer so in the Europe so yeah. like there's nothing else for him to do, so he just came to. I'd be tapping right out at that point too. Yeah. Yeah. And he won the World Cup in Ronaldo. The World Cup, yeah. Good. So <laughs> that World Cup, that, that was 22 in Argentina <laughs> was crazy. Yeah, that, that last was save too. Like they, I thought they were about to lose too. You know the last that breakaway, yeah, right? yeah. 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 <laughs> that was. I'm gonna say, um, Mbappe had what? He had like two, three goals. He, he, he had three. Three. Yeah. Hit three that game. Yeah. That's what it was. And then, and then Messi had, didn't he have three himself? No, Messi two? scored two in the, in the game, but he also scored a PK yeah. in the last. Oh, okay, which that's what it was. Basically, doesn't even count. Yeah, <laughs> you don't count those. I don't no. think so. No, I I wouldn't count them either. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. count towards stats. You don't really yeah. count them. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably say Messi. I've been getting right on FIFA. I play FIFA. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I actually be, don't play FIFA. I play FIFA. I've been getting right on FIFA. I don't know what be going on. I'm yeah. the same way. If I touch it, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> be dumb <going> far. <laughs> the ball be going over the over the whole net. <laughs> but nah, FIFA, I just pass until I'm like right in the six, and then I shoot it. Like I just pass yeah. up the whole field. He doesn't even know what that is. <laughs> he has no clue. Is it's it's like the ultimate team on FIFA? Yeah. Nah, play now. Yeah. Play now mode. And I just <laughs> yeah, random teams. I don't even know what teams be teams. I just be going I'll random I'll teams. I would love to see you play FIFA. It's probably bad. Huh? It's probably I mean, bad. probably, bro. My brother be beat me in FIFA. Because he actually know how to, he actually know how to like the controls and stuff. All uh, I know is shoot. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Shoot. Spam, <laughs> <just> spam. <laughs> spam. <laughs> spam circle every time you get the ball. <laughs> and then when you get when you get close, I just kick it deep. <laughs> I, just kick it, I just kick it dumb far. <laughs> never pass it back to your goalie. Nah. Never, pass, never perform. I have before. But it's like soccer's like a it's like a patient game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. you know, there's different ways you could play. You could play like more aggressive. 
but then you know it could backfire on you for you and like you know you could kind of play like conservative or like kind of like in the middle like mm -hmm. you know no, that's definitely a patient game yeah, yeah what you know how people like say soccer is kind of kind of boring i love watching yeah. soccer i just think the passing is like the most satisfying yeah, thing yeah, in yeah. the world just especially like the professionals just seeing them pass the ball around yeah i think that's like i don't even care about the goals at that point <laughs> you know, it's gonna be zero zero and i'm i'm still watching but yeah. you know people people like him who they have to see a basket scored every two seconds <laughs> exactly. to be entertained yeah. just adhd going crazy <laughs> what, what, what are you what how do you guys feel about that um passing i think is like a big part of soccer basically um i said the best team to ever do is barcelona 2012 i think it was yeah. With Pep Guardiola as the coach, when they had Messi, um, Xavi, Nesta, it was like they call it tiki taka. So they yeah, basically like, yeah, 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 you get like yeah. two touch basically, yeah. and just keep the ball moving. It was that's fun what we watching. strive for, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what we were trying to do this year. And yeah, it was fun play watching. Quick and, but yeah, I I agree. I think that's like that was like what I wanted uh, like out of this year. I wanted to like make sure we focus on just knocking the ball around. Like yeah. like what were you saying about Barcelona? Like if you can do that at the B two level, like you knock it around quick. Um, you're gonna like start beating teams. Like we we got really good at passing this year, like keeping the ball. Um, we used to just force up the field, do long balls and stuff, but it was a whole different year this year. So, I thought your possession was pretty good. Yeah, it, it got a lot better. Yeah, yeah, your possession was. Yeah, it was, was good. Yeah. Like I said, I was watching. I, I like watching you guys pass. Thank you. Yeah, that was nice. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> it is, he doesn't it know what's going good, on. Bro. I look up. Another dub. <laughs> like up another dough. <laughs> but uh, something that's interesting is you got uh two brothers on the team. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. talk talk about that a little bit and uh how good or not good has been you know having. I yeah I mean I was um when I was a freshman they were both seniors I think they're twins mm -hmm. um and they both wanted to play soccer in college and like ever since I had played with them like on varsity and stuff um they it was just a great time you know like mm -hmm. when you're out there with your brothers it, you feel like a lot more motivated to like work right. and stuff like yeah. if you see your brother get knocked over like i'm going to knock you know like that guy's down so mm -hmm. um yeah i would ever since like i went here i was like yo like we're trying to do something big here um we're trying to change this program around and they're both like really quality so i was like just tell them like if you want to come change this program come here and they both came and now it's just they're a huge part of it and it's mm -hmm. it's a crazy experience yeah. what's what's overall college like with them because i he came with yeah. his brother I played basketball with my brother here. Oh, so we yeah. have that experience. Yeah, like What's overall yeah. college like? I, I mean, I live in a house with both of them, too. We got a, a house. It's me, my brothers, and then two other boys on the team. Um, but it's awesome, yeah. I mean, we got uh, – they live on the same floor as me. We <laughs> share two cars, and it's a good experience. Uh, you're just spending a lot of time yeah. with them. You know, normally you go off to college and, like, you're part ways yeah. You're yeah. with your siblings and stuff. But mm -hmm. having them at college is, like, it's awesome. Yeah. Any fights? Not really. We get along pretty good. I'd no say. fights. Uh -huh. I mean, I get along with my brother, but I had <laughs> yeah, I had some yeah, fights. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. We, when we were younger, we'd fight a lot, but not not much anymore. I, mean, I, I came here with my brother. He played football and he ran track, uh, and I played basketball, obviously. But like when we were younger, we played football together and played basketball yeah. together. And like sometimes it'd be good because you do feel more motivated. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You feel like you know more together, and your schedules are just like aligned. You know what I'm saying? But right. like sometimes it'll be like, yo, what are you doing? Like. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could yell at you could yell at your brother more than you could yell at you know s you know somebody yeah, else. Like, yeah, yeah. You it's know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's more personal. So like, like you got that dynamic, and it's motivating. It definitely is. Yeah. It's like I don't want my brother to be better than me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Every drill I did with my brother was, I'm I'm beating him, no matter what. Mm -hmm. right. And then your brothers are twins too. Like me and my brother, we're twins. Oh. Yeah, me and my brother, and then I have two older brothers that are also twins. Oh, yeah, so it's crazy. And then I got just got like a younger brother. He don't got a twin. Like, so like, <laughs> but like, how do you feel like you know, kind of like the odd man out? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you yeah, feel that way? Like, not, like I don't. Not, I I feel like I when I was a freshman in college, I felt a little like that because like they were always going to you know like class together in high school, and yeah. I was going to like my college. Like, I wasn't seeing as much. But now that they're here, it's like I I honestly feel like some triplets closer than ever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, it's it's been good though. It's definitely. Um, are they I'd rather are they connected or not? What's up? They interconnected. Yeah, not nah. <laughs> just like they just they just know what's going on. They just start they messing with you. For being twins, they don't really look alike, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it's it's same his, same his same brother same looks same nothing like him. Yeah, yeah, none of us look alike. So who who on your team is the best juggler? Uh, I said Jackson Powers. How how many yeah. touches can he get in a row? I mean, from what I hear, from what he's talking about, 
Um, he went up there to the turf and to juggle. He would get like seven hundred juggles. In Man, like that's just, just what like time. just tapping it in your feet back and forth. Yes, just one time. How long is that taking? It's taking a while. Yeah, you're gonna be there. If you're going for seven hundred, you're gonna be there for a while. That, that's do you yeah. count do you count thigh or no? Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. you count. Anything that's not hands you count. So yeah. you see you count thigh head. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had teammates who did it was only feet. Like if you did anything else they didn't count really? it. Uh, it was only feet. I, I mean don't know. feet's definitely like the most skilled. Like using your thighs in my opinion is pretty yeah. a little easier. I mean I have to or else I'm losing the ball. <laughs> you <laughs> have to use your thighs? Yeah. yeah. I, I can get I can get like like fifteen, twenty with my feet, but like then I, I have to use my thigh. Mm-hmm. I played defense so I wasn't yeah. Center back, outside back. I played center back and center outside back. back yeah. So yeah, so I was Oh, you actually played defense? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, not in basketball though. I don't play defense oh. in basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, news <laughs> so. that's news to me. That's news to me. Oh man, so let's bring it in here. Oh, what I got. So we talk about this this debate that we have on here all the time. I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him say it. Because he loves to say it. <laughs> These past couple episodes, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, tired of getting cooked. People See, y'all been, need they've to help been me with me on this. They've been siding with me. So the question is, uh, do you do you wet your toothbrush before or after you add the toothpaste? I already me before. Answer. Before? <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, I'm before as well. Yeah. Before and after? Or no, I do. I do. I wet it, put the toothpaste on, and wet it. Yeah. Wet it again. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll get me tight. I'll get me tight. No, Wait, you, me you tight. don't wet it at all? Or? No, no, I, I'm not. I'm not a psychopath. I do. Okay. I do put some water on. Like, I'm, I'm not crazy. <laughs> psychopath. I'm not crazy. Here. I just put it on before though. I don't put it on after. Like before the toothpaste. Yeah. And just on the toothbrush. I mean, I do that sometimes, but what's what's the reason behind it though? I feel like I the wa- Like I feel like if you don't wet it after as well, that uh, the toothpaste just falls off in your teeth. That's just that's for me. Though. Exactly. No. <laughs> it just makes it more liquefied. Yeah. You know, more, more of like you know. It's washing the toothpaste yeah. off, so you got less less toothpaste. That's what you're doing. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't like you're not washing the toothpaste yeah, off. It's not, like it's not coming off. Yeah, you're Jesus. just giving it a quick you know, splash. And then boom. Plus, the water up here is is questionable. So you yeah. putting that water on there, <laughs> yeah, right? <that's> true. <laughs> nah, I, I just I, I don't get it. I, I don't know what I don't. I it's not even never debate heard of this. Point. It was a debate at first. The it first was. Episodes, I've never heard of it. People were saying like yeah before, or they were saying they don't do water at all. What? I was like yeah, that's no water. Yeah, that's, that's criminal. But Past couple episodes, like, everybody with me before and after. Yo, Simple as life is not, it's not even a debate. No, I'm, I'm, t- <laughs> I'm upset. It's not even. I'm debate. hurt, dog. I'm hurt. Nah. So we we gotta we gotta start bench cut for you guys. You know, start bench cut. Uh, nah. So like your first option, you're gonna have three choices. Your first option, you can start it. The second option, you're gonna bench it. Third option, you're gonna cut it. Uh, All right. right. So we got McDonald's, Burger King, or Wendy's. Start uh. Bench cut. I got mine. Um, I'd start Wendy's. Starting Wendy's. Uh, and then I'm cutting McDonald's. For cutting sure. McDonald's. Yeah, cutting McDonald's for sure. <laughs> what? Um, and then I'm. Well, you said start bench. Uh, bench and uh, Burger, Burger King. King yeah. Bench Burger King. Chicken fries and Burger King are unmatched. Yeah, yeah, and the cheeseburgers, I think, are pretty good. <laughs> I love the cheese. Yeah, Burger King got the best burgers. Like I said, Burger King. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna start Burger King, bench Wendy's, and cut McDonald's. Damn, no love for McDonald's. <laughs> I had to start McDonald's, bro. It's, it's, it's so much more, right? But it's just so. They're gonna have the Shamrock yeah. Shake coming out. <laughs> you ever heard, you ever heard the Shamrock Shake? Yeah, Shamrock Shake is, bro. It's, it's awful. It's, it's yeah. great, bro. It's great. It's good the first couple sips, and then yeah. uh, I start to get pretty sick of it. I should, I should <laughs> get, a, get a small one. I'd be good. Maybe I used to work at uh, McDonald's, so uh, I used to get some like discounts. Toothpaste. Shamrock <laughs> Shake tastes like toothpaste. What? It's awful. <laughs> it's great. It's awful. It's minty. The smoothies yeah. that are actually good. I do like the smoothies. Yeah. Though. The fries. Like the strawberry banana smoothie. The fries oh, are strawberry banana. Yeah, banana. yeah, that's the yeah. McDonald's got the best fries. Mm-hmm. I always say, like, McDonald's got the best fries. Burger King got the best burgers. And Wendy's got the best nuggets. Ah, uh, no. That's four for four. Burger King got yeah, the best fries. fries. Yeah, the but they be scamming yeah. now. It don't even be four for four no more. Yeah, I feel like it's like five. five it's like five out of the biggie bag. And then it don't that don't even be big. You got to get a $7, like, be like a seven dollar biggie bag, eight dollar. I'd be like, all right, they scamming now. It used, to be, it used to be really four dollars. Now it'd be like nine dollars. Like, when you be scamming, bro. Yeah, but I said Burger King got the best fries. I think Burger King got so. the best fries. I, I think yeah. McDonald's does, but I just McDonald's is not not it for me. Not it. <laughs> Where's it? I got another start bench cut with uh with some players here. We need some players in here. We got Neymar, Mbappe. Still messing with me. 
He's old. He's older, though. Are we old there? Are we counting me- like current messages? Current messages. Oh, yeah. All in, all in their current state. Um, I still start Messi. Still, even yeah. if I'd probably bench Messi, but not cut him. Not <laughs> I'd probably cut Neymar because he's injured right now, yeah, and true. start Mbappe. He's just young and yeah. like he's just got a ton of head in him. So. I think I'm a bench Mbappe just start Messi because I feel like even though he's <laughs> old now. He's still making impact just by he just being wins. in the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. it's like the LeBron. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the LeBron soccer. Yeah, another start bench cut. Right. Holland, Mbappe, and Neymar. Mm, that's a good one. Oh, uh, start Mbappe, bench Holland, cut Neymar. That's what I was gonna say too. Yeah. Who you say you start? Uh, Mbappe. Mm. And just mm. bench um, Holland and start Neymar. I mean, yeah, and then cut Neymar because. Mm. I feel like Holland could make an impact just by coming onto the field. He's a, like big, tall striker, so yeah. all you gotta do is feed him the ball, and then Mbappe can make an impact from the start. <laughs> like just give him the ball and just let him do him. Yeah, no, that's facts. Yeah, that's facts. What's, your, what's your favorite soccer jersey? All time. Uh, I think we have <laughs> clean ones like. Yeah, they do. Like, like uh, Barcelona. That's the red and red and blue. Red and blue. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are clean, bro. Those are so clean. Yeah, Probably got the inter- the Argentina jerseys, their international jerseys. I think would be my favorite ones, to be honest. I said the Nigeria jersey during the World Cup. Oh, years those were fire. Yeah. The, the green, yeah. it was like green tie dye, right? Yeah, yeah that mm-hmm. one was fire. I'm not gonna lie. I said that's the best jersey so far. I like I like international yeah. soccer. Yeah. You, you guys, are, you Me prefer too, yeah. like World Cup or Premier League? World Cup. World Cup. I was like, World Cup is so electric. And it's yeah. just, yeah. it's it's crazy. Yeah. So you're playing for your country, so. Yeah, yeah. and the commentators be OD, and that's the best part. I like the commentators. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the crazy accents, like, that. that's the best part. <laughs> I, I mean, like watching I, like watching, I like watching mine in the air, but for some reason. Because I feel like the commentators would drag and, like, yeah. be scored. <laughs> if you go going crazy. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sometimes the games be on, the, they be, like, on the other side of the country. They be at, like, 5 a.m. games, like. Yeah, in the U.S. Like yeah. Yeah. So this past World Cup, they, all the games were like two, three o'clock in the morning. Right? Yeah, I still be up watching it. Still be up watching. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy though. But we're gonna talk about our uh, Pioneer Olympics. We ask everybody on the show. Um, basically, what the Pioneer Olympics will be is uh, we'll have different events. Basically, like a field day between all the sports teams. So we'll do like a tug of war. We'll do like a relay race. We'll do um, like a pump, pass, kick, obstacle course stuff like that. So, uh, what men's team or camp base do you think will win? Wait, is this a new thing? Or is this it's like it's in the works? It's in the works. Oh, really? It's, ah. in, the it's in the works. It's in the works. I saw there was a guy over there laughing. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I saw somebody laughing in the background. It's he's behind the camera. You can't see. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go soccer. Yeah. To be honest, the reason I think that is because I feel like, wait, are there any soccer like? I mean, might have we're, like we're some punt and stuff, some obstacle courses. Yeah, we, we, we gotta find some some for every sport. Yeah, it's so like yeah. one geared toward every every single sport. So we're trying to we're trying to figure that out. We might do like an obstacle course with like a you gotta kick a goal in at the end or something like that. I just feel like uh, for me, it's like I feel like soccer is like a very specific skill, like being able to use your feet. Um, but I feel like picking up sports that are that involve like your hands is like easier if you got a sport that's involved with your foot. Mm. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll win that, definitely. It'll be soccer. Because uh-huh. um, <laughs> <that'd laughs> <be laughs> I do like the comments. Everybody else is just like, oh, it might, yeah. be, it might be something else. I, I mean, I, I know it's, it's going to be basketball, but like, <laughs> I do like the confidence, though. Uh, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, run through if it comes to the relays, like, I feel like soccer, because we do a lot of running and stuff, too, yeah. I feel like we could keep up with that. And then, I like a short <sighs> sprint, like four by one short sprint. I got some fast dudes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, our striker is like really fast. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, I definitely yeah. got some quick guys. For sure. Now, if you were to play another, it's like, if you were to play other sports, another team sport, and they were to play soccer, which uh, team do you think would be the best at that? So, if you were to play like basketball and basketball to play <sighs> soccer, like we're going to, and then uh, like football, I'd probably say basketball. I think basketball. Yeah, I think basketball would be the best soccer team. I mean, not because y'all, some of y'all have played soccer, but I just feel like it's uh. I feel like football players usually struggle to kick the ball around a little bit, but no, yeah, probably go basketball. Yeah, I don't know if you want to play the football players and anything else besides football because <laughs> they <laughs> will yeah, just yeah, run you over. Yeah. Their <laughs> goal is to <laughs> kill you at the end of the day. I mean, his brother, he's a f- the former football player, mm. when he played basketball with us, he's a hack. 
position <laughs> on football? Is he? He's a linebacker. Oh, he's a oh, linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> he's just a hack, man. <laughs> he would be complaining for foul. He'd be like, there's no way. <laughs> he clotheslined a dude. There's no way. <laughs> I didn't even touch him. No, yeah, he did. Like he played in a 3-3 league that we got, bro. He'd just be hacking everybody. It was, it's because of him we had to implement a foul out rule. <laughs> no, and yeah, Forbes yeah, like you got true. limited fouls, but when he started playing, I was like, yeah, we got to put in a foul out rule. <laughs> He's doing too much. Yeah. Like, what about baseball? Mm, I mean, I feel like we had a couple guys that could play baseball in the soccer team too. Um, Jake Mills. Missing? Jake Mills <laughs> can play baseball. He says. Um, he says. He says. Like, yeah, that's, he, he talks about it all the time about him playing baseball. He does. Baseball. I've never yeah. heard him say that. Because I got classes with him, and he's usually talking about it or watching it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I think baseball will be my biggest lie. But yeah, I say I agree with that. I swing down. Like I'm playing golf. <laughs> like I'm it's bad. Like I could be an outfielder though. Like yeah, an outfielder. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I think outfield is probably the easiest. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd be a probably a deep outfielder. Yeah, outfield yeah. not easy. You catch like a ball to a game and then the ball coming mad slow. As long as, <laughs> as long as the sun don't get in your eye. Or like, maybe like yeah. a first baseman. Yeah. First baseman. You gotta wear the hat. That's a lot of pressure that first baseman. It is, yeah. Or maybe like second. I think the pitcher has the most pressure. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. Gotta have the most pressure. The catcher. Catcher. The catcher. Yeah. You just gotta catch the ball. That's Drop insane. it. It's over. Oh, yeah. And there's a guy swinging a bat next to you. Yeah, it's nice to you. Shout out Cody Schneider. <laughs> nah, it's cool. <laughs> 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 but, all right, we're gonna wrap up our show. I'd like to thank you guys for hopping on the show again. Once again, we got the champs in the building. Y'all see in the, the trophy it is shining. All right. It is shining. You know, so I can see my reflection. The boys are looking, looking good. <laughs> I can see my reflection. You know, the boys are looking to repeat again next year. He's going to be too. You're under a great coach. Um, so you got a lot of young returns coming back. Oh, yeah. Got a, got a lot of guys. Yeah. Coach of the year. Got mm-hmm. both your um, offensive and defensive player of the year. All, all your brothers coming back. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I'm, it's going to be good. Y'all, y'all winning. I'm just going to say it. Future's oh, bright. Yeah. Our soccer team is going up for real. But once again, I'd like to thank y'all for hopping on the pod. Make sure y'all subscribe to Alpha State Athletics on YouTube. You hit the subscribe button and the post notification button so you're not missing another episode of the 110 Punch. We out.